Hello, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Puzzle, and we've been shipping so many features, I figured I'd just give everybody a quick update and a demo of what it does. So what you're looking at is the dashboard. Now, this is all software generated. I just seeded data in. It takes about two minutes to get everything set up. You don't need any background in accounting or finance. And what you're going to immediately notice is you're going to see all of your cash across all of your different accounts. You're going to see your burn, net burn, bank burn. If you want to know anything, you can just click and see your own data. And then your revenue run rate. See some charts here, plotting burn and spending and revenue over time, of course. I'm going to show you two of my favorite features across accounting, finance, and just other things that I think are important to know. So this is one of the coolest parts, I think, here is if you don't know anything about accounting, all you have to do is know how to click to understand and see what your expenses are. You want to know how much you spent at GitHub, great. You can click here, you can see the charge, you can see who spent it. You have transactions that might have a lot of transactions together. Our system just automatically aggregates and sorts and puts everything together. One of the other really cool features is um, you, your accountants usually like to do accrual books, but you really wanna see cash books because you're a founder and you can't really pay payroll or uh, other vendors um, with accruals, so you can pay with cash. So for the first time ever, you get to see both. You don't have to choose, which is pretty cool. Next, I think one of my other favorite features here is this like spending explorer. You get to see really quickly all of the top places you're spending money and you get different views, top categories, top vendors, top purchases, one time or recurring. You wanna dive deep into trends. You can sort of just click and see everything together. Similarly on revenue, like what's the difference between cash revenue and accrual revenue? an ARR, MRR, if you're a software company, you maybe you want to see ARR, MRR by customer. All you have to do is click and you can see because they're all technically right. They just tell a little bit of a different story. And our system is automatically doing all of your deferrals, all of your recognized revenue and showing you the schedule. Similarly, if you want to sort of take a look, you have a single view of all of your transactions. Now, how does this come in handy? Well, let's say there's an Apple transaction and then you didn't add a receipt and you don't really know what this is. You can just click AI categorizer. This will send you an email. You can also do a nap and say, um, this was a, a computer for an engineer. Um, we should probably spell this right. Um, all I have to do is click send. I don't need to know anything about accounting or anything about general ledger accounts. All I see here is here it shows up in my fixed assets it automatically generates a schedule. Means for the next three years, you no longer have to create a manual journal entry depreciating this asset. It's just all done automatically. Now, a lot of this is like, okay, this is great, but how do I know whether this is correct or not? Well, here we built something called a smart checklist. So every accountant has a certain set of steps that they do every month, and we automate just about all of them. And then we also review to see if it's right. So you wanna make sure your data is complete. This is called a bank reconciliation or credit card reconciliation in the world of accounting. But effectively, it's like making sure you have all of the pieces of the puzzle. Well, we've automatically prepared this for you and you can see the difference is zero. So you have confidence that your data is complete. And then you can go through and we do a bunch of sanity checks. It shows you all of the places where you need to put intention, all in very sort of general human understanding languages. Now, there's obviously a lot more features here to show you, but um, this is just some of the cool new stuff to uh, help you out. Uh, we'd love to hear what you think. And if you have anything else that you would like us to build, please let us know. All right, thanks.